Well, hello everybody, it's Dazran Trio Tree, and welcome back to Go Vacation Let's Play. I'm here with Yoshi, but unfortunately, it's just me on my own today, as I just got a pretty disturbing email. So I'm gonna run off to this girl in the blue. I think it's a guy, I'm not really sure. <laughs> You'd think I'd, I'd know at this stage what kind of gender this person is, but anyhow, um, I got an email today off Alicia32, and apparently, she's gone to Woohoo Island, so she's not here on Kauai Island anymore, so. Uh, she's asked me to look after her house and make sure there's no break-ins, but uh, screw that. I'm going adventuring. I don't have time to be looking after your house, Tootsie Pie. <laughs> Let's talk to this male, female person. Either gender, it looks kind of cute though, in fairness. Not that I'm gay or anything, I'm just saying. <laughs> what an awkward intro. But anyway, welcome. Here you can transfer between resorts. Would you like to visit another resort? Yes. Um, I want to go to Marine Resort. And you know what? This episode is going to be about doing everything I want to do. Because Alicia32 was around for a couple of episodes and we had to do everything she wanted. <laughs> Just kidding. Welcome. Welcome to the Marine Resort, Dazran Trio Tree. You found seven of the seven treasure chests, and you've only taken four of the seven photos. Bye for now. Music note. Thank you, Lily. And this is the final straw. I'm not going another episode wearing this crap. Look at this. Can we get an underbody shot? No, I don't think we should. In case there's a hole there. <laughs> Welcome. Here's where you can get changed. Let's change out of these clothes. Let's see if there's anything worse than what I'm wearing right now. Just for this episode, just as a little treat for you guys and girls. A little bit of eye candy. So what are the choices here? Now you see, they're too long. We need something shorter. Is there a selection here where you can choose nothing? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's time to get dressed, I think. To wear some decent clothes. Um, what the hell is that supposed to be? That's supposed to be like a king or something? Is there any name on the clothes? It's like, it doesn't explain what this is and it looks like a spacesuit. If you could have a helmet, it would definitely be a spacesuit. But anyhow, let's choose something. That's kind of cool. See what kind of colors it go. Oh, yeah. Sensational. Let's see. I actually like that black one I was on, so I think I'm going to go with that. Black and blue. Gonna see if we can put on some shoes. Put on some. No, I don't, I'm not really a big fan of sandals. I like the ninja shoes, though. But I don't think they're going to go with this. But you know what? As I said, this episode is about everything I want. And I'm gonna make this look completely ridiculous. <laughs> Let's do it. For some laughs. All right, I'm gonna check out something here because um, in Alicia 32's time with me on Kauai Island, she was kind enough to share some of the secrets Kauai Island has to offer me. So I'm gonna share them with you as well. So what a marvelous ensemble, Das Red Trio Tree. You really know your clothing, old boy. Okay, we're gonna go to the ATV. And we're going to just check out something. That's pretty cool. Let's have a look in the sunlight. Oh, yeah. Rock on, my man. <laughs> okay, let's go into view records and see what we have to do left on the marine resort. So if we can press the plus button. We have to swim over 6,000 feet. So I might do a small bit of swimming in this episode. Just a small bit, mind. Uh, so, Mountain Resort and the Marine Resort. I still haven't got those gold keys. Let's see. Snow Gear Master. Still haven't got that. Mountain Gear Master. Still need to do that as well. Everyone's friend. Invited buddy 10 times. Ball of Painful Memories. Submerged gear 50 times. So I have to throw, like, cars into the water and stuff. ATV quad bikes and stuff. Okay. My best friend is, of course, Alicia32, and my favorite resort is the snow resort at the meantime. All right, so let's see what kind of games we can play. Uh, ATV races stands out for me. Uh, marine bike races, possibility. Marine bike tricks. I'd say marine bike tricks will actually be pretty easy, so we're going to go there. We're going to go and do that, and while we go to the marine bike tricks, we're going to go over to do the scuba diving as well, which is all on the same pier, which makes things pretty easy. Get out of my way, dog. Let's pick up this message balloon over here. Oh, it feels brilliant to have a full screen again. <laughs> pick up this message balloon. Yes, ATV Master. Two massive boulders look out across the sea. If you're able to jump over the gap that lies between them, you'll be considered a true ATV Master. 
And that is exactly the gap they're talking about. Right there. So, if you read all the message balloons, you do really get a hint as to what you're supposed to be doing to get the, the special stars. So, one of them is to jump over that gap. Another one is to... You have to ramp over a bridge in the mystical jungle. But if you check out the previous episodes, you'll see me go through a couple of them. I might actually, at the end of this Let's Play, I might do a montage of, like, how to get the stars and what I, what I needed to do to do it, you know? I might do something like that. Let me know if you're interested in that in the comment section. Look at the state of his tongue! <laughs> God. I can slag him. It's okay, I can slag him now, because I changed my clothes. Whoa! Let's talk to you, buddy. Haha! -ha, right this way to the Marine Bike Trick activity! Let's do it! Come on. Stop spitting out your text at me. Okay. The trick here is to get a silver key. Jump tricks. Rank four or higher. It shouldn't be too hard, should it? Ride tricks. Ride and tricks. I still didn't get a tick for that. Why is it saying I got a tick for that? Okay, let's go into the jump tricks and we might go into the ride and tricks after that to see if we can get the silver key. Shouldn't be too hard. Oh man, it's so hot out here. In this shirt and pants. I'm so used to wearing my tongue. <laughs> oh, what? Did I not do it? I think that was pretty bad, actually. So it wanted me to get a rank 4 or higher, but it said I got rank 1. Oh, man. Let's retry. In some games, rank 1, is that not the best you can get? What's this rank 4 or 5 business about? Come on. Oh yeah! That's still not good enough. Damn it! Just gonna have to work on that. Just gonna have to work on our jump tricks. See what we can do now. Look at my shoes! Hey, I got it. You won's a silver key. Okay, let's go back to the activity screen. I'm pretty sure it's still right and tricks. It says. Okay, let's go. Just go into this for one second because I was. It doesn't give me a tick there. Why is it giving me a tick on the? Hmm. Let's try it again, just for pig iron. I thought I was giving the double deuces there. Alright, so we have to get over 1,000 points. This is pretty easy, though, so let's see. Let's see what we can do. Going into a helicopter and a Thunderbolt. That is super. From the LSA champion now on his AT... That's not an ATV, that's a marine bike. I'm getting tug tied and everything. <laughs> oh, I just did three... Oh, no. I thought I did three helicopters. Three! There's no such thing as a tree helicopter. Plus 10 bonus. Oh, super. Double side flip. Oh, I'll keep going. My, my best is 892. Is that what it's telling me? I'm on 614 with 24 seconds to go. Got a 10 plus 10 bonus there. I can't remember how to do any of the tricks on the frickin... Oh, I just did the same trick. <laughs> No-hander. That's it. That's not what you did. Then. Oh, fantastic. Oh, you shouldn't have gone for two of them, you fool. Get the ten points in the last two seconds. No! Hey, I got 1,156. I'm not really sure how that worked out. I thought I was well behind. I thought I was only on like 800 and I ended up getting over 1,000. Wow. I am so happy. There's me in my shirt. Top button undone. That's a little, hip, little hint and tip for you guys out there. Leave that button undone. You're a you're a chick magnet, as you can see. <laughs> and you get the occasional male in the tongue, wanting you as well. So let's skip that screen. We're not talking about that anymore. Right. Let's see what other games we can do. 
So I must have had that done. I must have got a tick for it before because it didn't come up there, even though for some reason on that menu it wasn't telling me I got it. But uh, that's right, Trio Tree. Let's jump around. Jump up, jump up, and get down. Marine bike. Come on, Yoshi, let's go. Oh, uh, we're going scuba diving, I thought. Silly me. There it is. Let's see if I can land this. Oh, perfect. Welcome to scuba diving. Scuba diving allows you to see all sorts of colorful creatures. Let's get on with it. We're here for the scuba diving, not for the chit chat. Not for the dog stamps either. So it's kind of a shame actually that Alicia 32 had to go. I don't know why. She didn't actually say in her email why she had to leave, but um, what the hell is this? What's that? I can actually swim around on my own. Check diving chart. Select a camera control setting. How to get a silver key. Free diving. Complete 30% of the diving chart. Complete 80%. Fish search. Clear all levels. Wow. Okay, let's start activity and go into fish search then, I guess. What? There's levels unlocked. I mean locked, not unlocked. Okay, let's go back before we can never get back up. It doesn't seem like it goes up too fast. For whatever reason. Let's go into level two. Okay. Let's search for the fishes. We're looking for blue tang. Is there any other species or is it just the one? We're also looking for more fish idol. Now if any of you guys that own a Wii as well, uh, have, if you've ever purchased the game uh, Endless Ocean, this reminds me of Endless Ocean, this like underwater section, the graphics, the presentation, it just looks really similar to Endless Ocean, which is no bad thing, it's beautiful, Endless, Endless Ocean is a beautiful game. How the hell do you swim? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Not cool, it's also. I love the happy music when I'm supposed to be looking for fish like. I must get some Endless Ocean content on my channel, I think. I know it's not like super exciting or whatever, but it's like, it's so relaxing. It's it's also a beautiful game as well. Uh, it's a game I do really appreciate. It's a really good game. And I have Endless Ocean 2, which you can... Well, actually, Endless Ocean 1 I used to play online with Lil Andy. You can play that game online. You can go for scuba diving sessions together and stuff. But apparently in the second one, if you get into do too deep water, you can get like attacked by sharks and whales and everything. It's kind of scary because it plays the like Jaws music and everything. It's pretty cool. Slender? What the hell is Slender? Get in this ocean too. <laughs> okay, I'm going off course here. Let's go back. I can't even remember what I'm supposed to be looking for. I'm looking for more fish idle, blue tang. There was another like shoal of fish that I was looking for as well. So I guess if I just come up against another shoal of fish, I'll just go over to it and press A, I guess. Here, what's these? What's these guys? Hey, is that it? Uh-oh, I don't know what else I'm supposed to be looking for. Damn it, I should have been paying attention. Rather than talking about endless ocean. I'm not looking for a tortoise, am I? Let's have a look, you see. Yeah, let me know in the comment section as well from the people watching this episode. Let me know if you have Endless Ocean. Have you ever played it or do you play it online? Uh, I must get active and start playing online games with people because I guess the one game I did play a lot of online with people was with the Call of Duty games. Uh, they're not necessarily my favorite types of games to be playing, but um, I don't know. I, I just suppose they work best online, I guess. Same at Mario Kart, but if you're interested in getting some friend code action going, I'd be definitely up for that. I'm looking for an active list of people on the Nintendo Wii U once that comes out as well. I want people in my Miiverse. I want to get interacting with people. I think that'd be pretty cool. The Miiverse would be really cool to have. I'm really looking forward to the Wii U. Come on. Yay. Fish complete. Fish it accomplished. <laughs> oh, wow. Two minutes and 30 seconds. Okay, I'm going to do another one. Start activity. We're going to do fish search level three. Or level three. It's not a mispronunciation. I'm just from a different part of the world than you, okay? 
No need to be so na nasty. <laughs> Bottlenose dolphin. I have to find six of them. Okay, they're big enough. I'm sure I'll find a couple of those. I can already see two over here. Off in the distance. So if you wear glasses like me, I'm wearing glasses right now, right? If you go deep sea diving, do you also wear your glasses under your goggles? I don't know, would that be really uncomfortable? I don't think you would, would you? You'd probably wear contact lenses. But if you've ever gone scuba diving and you know, let me know. I don't know why, I just find those tidbits interesting. You should hear some of the stuff I asked Mad Mike of. Myself, my, when Mad Mike and I, I should say him first. It's a mindset I have to get into, apparently. When Mad Mike and I sit down and have a little chat about things, I'd be asking weird questions like, if you're on a train and you jump, does a train pass you out and all this kind of stuff? I don't know, it's just, it's just funny. Funny stuff. Space stuff as well. I love asking the space questions because I get a kick of Mad Mike's answers. He doesn't, he doesn't have a clue, like, and I know that. But I'd love to hear what he comes up with. Mad Mike, if you're watching, I love you. <laughs> I know you're probably not watching. Because you are you just don't support me in any way. Start activity. Let's do another one. Fish search. Level... Tr ah, come on! Oh, maybe I have to explore a different... Okay. Ooh, this is cool. Okay, so that's the Pac-Man side of the beach. Uh, let's go for the deepest. Oh, come on. Okay. I guess I have to go here then. Okay, so this episode is going to be all about me swimming around the Merry Bay. So I hope you're interested in swimming stuff. The Merry Bay. Please leave comments as well and let me know, are you saddened at the news of Alicia32 having to head off for Woohoo Island? I'm sure she'll come back at some stage. She's not going to just leave her villa lying there like that. But um, I guess this is going to be a great opportunity for me to throw some awesome house parties in her house while she's gone. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah. Okay, so as you can see in the map, this is like... To be quite honest, I've never done this before. Obviously I haven't done it before. You've seen me just do level 1 I got a tick for it. Or level 2 even. But uh, just looking at this map here, it's like a total underwater resort. You know, it'd be very easy to say, oh yeah, there's only got the snow resorts, the mountain resorts, the marine and the city resorts. Even that is enough in itself because they are pretty big but this is a whole underwater what's this the abundant coral and gentle current makes this the perfect spot for first time divers oh cool look at me how did I do that <laughs> this is kind of cool oh no oh I'm not used to this the camera settings it's like Whenever I play these deep sea diving games, or even it um, applies to plane games as well, when you press up, it should make you go down, not up as well. It's like it should be reversed. So let me try and change that because that's just. Oh, I can't. I don't know. Oh, cool. I've got a little torch. Wow, this is this is awesome. Who knows what I'll find? I wonder, can I get killed? <laughs> That's Red Tree or Tree mauled by a catfish. Because he loves dogs. Oh god, I'm getting stuck in the seaweed, help me! I wonder if there's anything else you can do. Have you got like a camera or anything like that? I wouldn't say so, but it would be a nice little touch. Okay, where are we heading? Let's go for that dark spot over here. There's a little dark spot. If you look in the radar just there, down below here. Uh, oh, cool. Sea cave. There's a dark spot in the map. Let's explore. Let's explore here. This is kind of relaxing. This is like... If you've got your audio on, maybe you're listening in a headset. I'm sure my voice is probably annoying you while you're trying to listen to the nice bubbly sounds and the sound of water. You could almost like... Use this as a... Oh, cool. A relaxation. What the hell is that? A mysterious statue. Oh, cool. I got a camera. Wow. <laughs> That's cool. Get a picture of her breasts, as you do it, on holidays. 
Come on, we're underwater trying to relax here. Uh, let's have a listen to what this is all about. Why can't I click on the number two button? Tell me about the statue. Get off me, turtles. Jesus, the turtles are trying to eat me. Alright, let's try and swing back around. See, I think there's an oxygen tank on my left side. If that's completely red, I'd say it's that's me gone. Well, I don't know. I don't have to, like... Come on, tell me about the statue. No, I don't know. I'll have to revisit that again, I'd say. But uh, before we run out of oxygen, let's quickly go down here and see what's the story. Maybe I should turn off my light. Uh-oh. I didn't mean to get my camera out. I can't remember what I was saying. I was saying something. Something about relaxation, I think. Whoa. Whoa, it's pitch black out here. Oh, I want to explore further. This is cool. We're definitely going to have to come back and revisit here. And try and get more parts of the underwater resort done. That is really cool. I'm surprised they managed to fit so much onto this game. But I think they could have put more stuff that you could interact in like uh, as I said in previous episodes I think if you know like there's restaurants dotting around the marine resort on the beach front and all that kind of stuff you should be able to like go in and interact with people and you know do that kind of stuff I think it'd be cool I see a lot of potential for a future go vacation title and I was surprised actually uh, because I did play a game it, it's called family ski and snowboard and it's made by the same people who make Go Vacation, but it was made a couple of years, way before this actually. And just like Go Vacation, you get to go on a snow resort and you get to go on skis and a snowboard. And it's almost like Go Vacation, but playing it, I didn't find it to be very enjoyable. I think there was a couple of flaws with it that I'm delighted that they ironed out with the release of Go Vacation. The title of Go Vacation. I'm glad they dropped the stupid name Family Ski and Snowboard or Family This and Family That. But you know, it doesn't need to have a family title on it for people to buy it, for God's sake. <laughs> like, that's what's wrong with some of the games on the Wii. They have the word family thrown in there. That's why people say it's a family console. And these are the things a man thinks about when he's alone under the, under the water. About how people diss on the Wii. <laughs> Okay, where else, where else can I go? There's another dark spot down here. I don't know. I thought I was going to run out of oxygen by now, but... We will swim over here, and we will check out... Oh, cool. What's that? Coral Garden. The Abundant Coral. Wait a minute. I read this out before. Let's continue our journey. I feel like David Attenborough. All I need is some music now, and... Put on that kind of voice. Here we have the... Fish that swim. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> you can see me on BBC very, very soon. Okay, let's go down here. Ocean currents. You'll sometimes find yourself pushed by strong currents. Oh my god, I'm out of air! Well, I'm not dying. It says I'm surfacing, so that's fine. And surfacing is also uh, the name of a Slipknot song, if you didn't know. Scuba diver. Zero pictures taken. You're a worthless piece of scum. Dead red. Quit. We're going to revisit that one for sure at a later date in this adventure on Go and Kauai Island, I should say. On the Kauai Marine Resort. Right to you. <sighs> that, was, that was rather relaxing, I think. Wow. Welcome back. How was the water? The more you dive, the better you'll get. Please come by again to do stuff. Congratulations on setting a new world record. I know it, the person didn't say world, but... Makes me feel a bit better. Knowing I accomplished something. Even if I did make it up myself. <laughs> Let's -a go! See, there's like a building here and you just can't do anything with it. It's just like a building. That's it. Can't walk into it, can't buy stuff. You know, it's all well and good dressing up to me and stuff. But it'd be good if you could buy stuff as well, like new items of gear like you know even if it's something simple like a remodeled ATV that can fit two people or maybe you can unlock the feature to have a horse on the marine resort just gives people 
something extra to do, you know? It'd be really cool. Whoa! Okay, I'm driving around aimlessly here. Let's check the map. We've only got a couple of minutes left in this episode. I hope you enjoyed it so far because it's about to end. But we'll be back again pretty soon. Uh, how about I sw Oh, come on. I was underwater swimming and it doesn't count towards my 6,000 feet. <laughs> that would have been decent. Oh, god damn trees are attacking me. What's that over here? Volleyball. That's the last game Alicia32 and I did. And here we go. We're going to do some ATV quad bike racing. Hey, buddy. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, stop skipping all my writing. I've got some good stuff. <laughs> Sprint race, clear all stages. Circuit race, clear all stages. Salon challenge, clear all stages. Right. Let's do a sprint race. Stage one. That's grand. There's only three stages. That's not too bad. So we'll do one race. And I will bid you adieu. We will be going back to the villa resort. Hey! Let me know as well in the comment section if you want to want to leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of my shirt. I think it's pretty freaking sweet. <laughs> it's got a dragon on it. Go! Yeah, it's around 303. Third place on his quad bike. I, I'm not very confident in my ability to drive these things, I have to say. I always find myself fishtailing and everything, but... You know, I, I'm I'm partial to the old helicopter and sometimes the double front flip, as you just saw there. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, these races are, like, one long section. There's no, there's no laps. It's, like, one long race. Just cop that now. Whoa, watch out for the tree, Desmond. Double backflip coming up. Oh, you know it. Oh, cool. Playing to the crowd. But seriously, I do have to win. That's what I'm all about. I have to win everything. <laughs> I'm only joking. Let's try another front flip here. Have a bit of fun. Another back flip, maybe. Oh, that was a bad mistake. That was a good way of slowing down for that turn, actually. It turned out pretty good. Alright, we're nearly there. Just above my head there on the left, that's the two rocks you jump across on your ATV quad bike to so get the, one of the achievements, anyway. So, as I said, Alicia32 was kind enough to share some of the knowledgeable stuff that she had from her journey on Kauai Island, so I know how to get a couple of the stars that I'm looking for, especially on the mountain resort, one involving a horse, and I'm not going to detail you any more about that one. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. It's clean. It's clean, I promise you. Can I get off? No, I can't. I win! Apparently there's one as well, if you didn't see a previous episode, it's called Lap Around the Track Fail. Uh, lap Around the Track is a challenge where you have to stand on top of the train and let it go all the way around the track and you get a star for doing that. Kind of weird, that one. Don't know how you'd find that out if you were just to be playing the game. Good HP. Or, although... It tells you in your records, it says there's a game there called Lap Around the Track, so you would know what to do, I guess. That's just me being a bit silly. Good job. See you later. Good luck. Okay, let's get on the HV quad bike, and let's go back to Lily and Co. And we're going to end this episode. Maybe we'll grab a balloon first? No, we won't. We have no time for the balloons. It's time to get going. Oh, oh I missed. Oh, do you know what, Dazran? You'd be quicker just getting on foot and talking to her. God damn. <laughs> Welcome here. You can transfer between resorts. Would you like to go to another resort? Villa grounds, please. I'm going home. It's time to go home to my villa. And I will bid you adieu. I'm going to get some refreshments. And I will do something else.
All right, guys and girls, thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was mostly me under the water, I guess, doing some marine activities. But nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed. And I'll be back very soon with some more episodes of Go Vacation Let's Play. So talk to you pretty soon. Bye for now, everyone. Come on, Yoshi. We're going home. You did great out there, Yoshi. You did fantastic. So what did you get up to while I was off uh, scuba diving, anyhow? Oh, really? Yeah? You can't speak? Well. Wow. Alright, let's see if that video is rendered. Turn it on the, the screen. Yes, that video is rendered. Okay, time to make some more videos.